Look, here's a hard, difficult truth. Most racists are good people. They're not sick. They're not ruled by uh, anger or raw emotion or hatred. They are complicated people reared in complicated societies. They're fully capable of generosity, of empathy, of real kindness. But because of the idea systems in which they're reared, they're also capable of dehumanizing others and occasionally of brutal violence. And, and, and that's an important truth. Most people are not racist out of a, some sort of a sickness of the soul. They're racist because of the society in which they operate. How so? We need to understand that race has been one of the ways in which we've explained why certain groups get certain privileges and advantages and why other groups don't get privileges or, or are exploited or are excluded from the country. Right? This operates not just in terms of class relations and group relations. This operates in terms of a com common sense understanding of who's trustworthy, who's decent, who's law-abiding, and in contrast, who's loathsome, who's diseased, who's dangerous. That common sense of race used to be openly expressed through the 1950s, let's say. Now it's not openly expressed. And that's one of the great triumphs of the civil rights movement. We ought not to gainsay that. But on the other hand, it didn't all go away. It's still there under the surface. Now it doesn't, it, we don't hear it in the language expressly of race, but we hear it in the language of culture and behavior.